In this short Excel video, I will show you how to apply a strike through effect on your text in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So here I have an employee list with some accounting information. And here at the right, there's a few tasks that I need to complete as I work with this data. When I do complete each of these tasks, it would be nice to apply a strike through so I know it's been done, and yet I'll still be able to see what was done. Now there are other ways we could do this. We could use checkboxes or things like that. And if you want to learn how to use checkboxes in Microsoft Excel, please watch my other Excel tutorials. But in this tutorial, let's apply a strike through. Now as I look on the home ribbon, I don't see a strike through option. But the good news is you can just select the cell that you want to apply a strike through to, hold control and tap five, and immediately a strike through effect is applied. I can just tap enter on the keyboard to move down to the next item. Let's say I'm done checking on Mari's W2 form, hold control, tap five, and strike through is applied. And I can just continue to tap enter, control five, to move down my list of tasks. Now this works not just with text, but also with numbers. Control five, strike through. Tap enter a few times, control five, strike through. It also works with a range. I could click and drag to select a range, hold control, tap five, and immediately all of those items have strike through. Now it's important to know that even though these numbers have strike through, they're still calculated as normal numbers. So if I go here to cell F10 and type equals, sum, left parenthesis, I can click and drag to select that range, tap enter on the keyboard, and it's still summed up. All of those numbers are added up and included in this total. So it's really just a formatting effect, a visual effect, to help me know whether I've done something or maybe decided to take something out in the future. This strike through effect can really come in handy from time to time. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I need to say thank you to my $5 Patreon supporters. Right now, there's just a few of you, but you're amazing. Thank you so much for your support, which enables me to be able to continue making these educational videos. Thank you. Thank you.